Hi guys, this is Grace again and welcome back to my channel. Okay, so for today's video would be about uh, aglonema plants. Yes, so from, um, from my video which is uh, where we talked about my calatea plants or my diva plants, doon naman tayo sa mga uh, low maintenance plant or yung mga hindi ganun ka-arte or hindi pa diva na plant. And syempre isa doon ay ang, ang, ay ang aglonema. If you guys are interested, just please keep on on. So I have five types of aglonema. To start, um, also, uh, I would want to share as well, hindi lang yung limang types ng aglonema ko, but also how I take care of them. The first type of aglonema that I'll be sharing with you is the most common one, I think. Yeah, the most common one. And it's a really hard to kill plant. Well, actually, all of aglonemas naman ata is very hard, um, is part of an, uh, is part of hard to kill plants. Uh, hindi siya ganun ka uh, diva, like, it's a low maintenance plant. Going back, my first aglonema plant to introduce with you guys is the aglonema red siam yeah red siam i think it's called red siam. red siam is also recommended by nasa as you can see it will lessen the radiation inside your house or inside your office and the good thing about this red siam is that it can tolerate low light situation so hindi mo kailangan na maliwanag so for those um people or for those folks na ang bahay nila is hindi naman ganun kaliwanag especially dun sa mga naka condominium um uh, recommend ko itong uh, red siam sa inyo you can adopt a red siam uh inside your house so yeah but syempre um if you would want an aglo ni red siam na talagang sobrang yabong sobrang uh, makita mo yung pagka variegated niya like that uh, you have, of course, ang pinaka-recommended na uh, light situation for um, the aglonemas is, of course, uh, bright, bright indirect light. But again, it can still tolerate and still thrive in a low light situation. Kasi ako, itong red siam ko, nakalagay siya sa kwarto ko. And dun naman sa kwarto ko, hindi naman ganun kaliwanag. So, Lagi pa siya naka-aircon. So, yun din. Uh, aircon friendly siya. Well, aircon friendly. Ito <laughs> term. Pero, yun. Uh, Nagsisurvive siya kahit sa mga air-conditioned room. Pero, syempre, hindi naman yung 24 hours na air condition So, syempre, buksa mo rin yung window mo. And, make sure na nakakakuha pa rin siya ng liwanag or sunlight. Um, kasi, syempre, lahat naman, kahit naman uh, nakaka-tolerate or can drive in a low-light situation, kailangan pa rin nila ng light or sunlight. So, yun. Ang uh, light situation nito is best for um, bright and direct light to moderate light. Moderate and direct light. And, uh, and it can also tolerate um, low-light situation and still can drive. Kasi, ito, itong red siyam ko, um, nasa kwarto lang talaga siya. Hindi ko naman siya ganang nilalabas. Um, parang ngayon ko lang siya nilabas kasi nag-video ako. So, pero tingnan nyo, nagbigay pa rin siya ng new so, so, I have uh, red aglonema or the red siam. I have three, three, yeah, I have three here. Dalawa nandito sa Inter Garden and eto sa loob doon ng kwarto. Also, um, aside from my red aglonema or red siam, I also have uh, what they call, I think, pink lipstick or the aglonema pink lipstick i'm not sure with the name but sabi kasi nung nagbigay sa akin it's pink lipstick lipstick because may mga pink pink siya as in and if makikita niyo pink yan yan so yun oh yeah pink yan siya yan even yung ano niya even yung stem niya it's para siyang may pagka pink pink as if you can see it Yan. So, for this one, almost the same with a red siam. So, actually, same lang naman ang gagawa ko sa mga aglonema ko. In terms of watering, I just water them once a week. Yung iba sabi dapat twice a week or parang once in a two weeks. But, 
ako once a week lang talaga. Pero minsan napapa twice a week. It depends kasi eh, sa, sa soil situation nila. Basta, for all aglonema, you just have to keep the soil moist. So, almost all the plants naman, almost all in their plants, uh, kailangan maintained na moist yung soil. But, never, ever, ever let them sit in the water. Like, kasi it will cause root rot. And yeah, I don't water them regularly like every day. I just water them once a week. Madalas na yun twice a week. But I make sure to spray them to keep. Uh, I make sure to spray them regularly to keep their soil moist as well as um yung leaves din nila as and the humidity as well. This uh, pink lipstick, hindi siya nag stay sa loob ng bahay namin. So, dito siya sa um, intergarden namin, which is, ang um, light situation is moderate and direct light. Minsan, depende. Kasi ngayon, maulan, gan hindi siya ganun kaliwanag dito. Mas maulan, hindi ganun kaaraw. Yun, yun yung pinakamasasabi ko, moderate indirect light. But, kapag during summer, ganyan, may wang dito. So, bright indirect light. So, okay lang din naman. And, yan. And, yan. Makikita nyo. Mayroon din siya ulit. I also use uh, Thieves oil for this one. And, when I'm spraying it. So, yung binanggit ko, uh, binanggit kong Young Living uh, Thieves Cleaner or Household Cleaner na nabanggit ko dun sa isang video ko for my quality of plants, I also use it with aglonema. Actually, I use it with all my plants. And it will, it really helps a lot. Next, ito medyo tricky kasi before, I thought talagang lahat ng Chinese herb evergreen or aglonema Chinese evergreen is isa lang. Lahat is silver queen. I just found out that meron ding silver king. Ipapakita ko muna pala yung silver queen ko. Um, eto, napakita ko na tong silver queen Chinese evergreen ko dun sa isang video ko which is yung bedroom plants na video ko or yung vlog ko. I'll put it in the description box. So, yun. Eto siya. Eto na siya. So, yan. So, I have um, how many ba? One, two, three, so, I have four Silver Queen Aglonema here at home. So, yan siya. May abong siya, di ba? So, same, same, same lang. Ayan siya. Shiny! Ganda-ganda niya. Sobrang nakakatuwa siya, you know? Parang ganyan. So, ito pa rin yung napanggit ko dun sa vlog ko. Sa inner, sa bedroom plants. Yun yung, di ba, nakita niyo to? Ganyan na talaga. So, ganyan pa rin naman siya. Hindi naman pangit din yung itsura ng, ng leaf niya eh. So, I don't know why. Sabi ba ka na stress, pero... At least, hindi siya ganun kapangit. So, ayan. So, ayan yung Silver Queen. Aglonima ko. While, ito nga, ito bago to sa pagkakaalam ko na may Silver King din pala ang Aglonima. Kasi itong isa kong mabili, kala ko, eh yung nagbenta din naman sa akin, si nanay, hindi niya alam. Siguro hindi niya alam. Basta sabi lang niya, oh, Chinese Evergreen. Ganun lang. So, ayan. Tapos, itong pot, nabili ko ito kay Oh My Blood. Ah, uh, yan. Kay Oh My Plant PH. So, ayan. Tapos, only nagtataka ko. Sabi ko, bakit may ganito? Ganyan. Sabi ko, bakit may ganyan? Nakita niyo ba? Bakit may ganito kaya? Sabi ko, parang may flower. Parang, ano ba to? Peace lily ba to? Ganyan. So, sabi ko, bakit may ganito siya? So, next search So, next search search ako. Yun pala, ang tawag dito is Chinese... Uh, Aglonema Chinese Evergreen Silver King. So, kapag may ganito, may parang pa-flower siya. Ayan. Silver King pala siya. So, yun. Pero same pa rin sila ng care tips. So, ni Silver Queen and ni Aglonema, ng mga Aglonema. So, they can still tolerate low light. Um, you don't have to water it too much. Like, you don't have to water it every day. Pero, please don't let the soil dry. Pero, syempre, I mean, don't let the soil dry for too long. But, before watering, make sure na, na, na nag, ano na talaga, na bumaba na yung, yung tubig. Kasi nga, over watering will kill your plants. And it will cause root rot. Kaya, it will kill your plants. Next, and actually, last but not the least, uh, my aglonema Doña Carmen. Here. Ito siya. Laki niya ito. Ayan siya. 
Ayan. Itong Donya Carmen na ito. Um, since kasi diba parang siyang ni Vibration, as you can see. Ayan. Uh, nakalagay talaga siya sa tap, uh, sa tapat ng bright and direct light. Yung mai sa suggest ko for Donya Carmen. Kasi, if you put it inside your house, as hindi ganun kaliwanag, hindi, mas, hindi mo masyadong makikita yung mga variations niya. Hindi siya mamatay, pero yun yung makita masyadong yung variations niya. Pero if you would want, and you you prefer uh, an aglonima or a Donya Carmen na talagang nag-grow na nag-grow, tapos variegated talaga, like, yan, makita mo yung mga dot dots niya and stuff. Yan, tapos mag-produce ng, ayan, no, ito, aga siyang baby. Wait, kita niyo ba? Ayan, no, ito, ito. Yan, yan. So, kung gusto niyo yung aglonima or na Donya Carmen na nagpo-produce talaga sa'yo lagi ng plants, put it outside. Pero wag yung direct light kasi baka masunog. I haven't tried it yet. Uh, I'm not sure. So, let me know if pwede rin pala yun na direct light. Pero ako, what I can suggest is bright and direct light. So, if meron kayong part sa bahay ninyo na yan, napakaliwanag, pero hindi naman sobrang tutok na tutok yung araw or direct na yung araw. Like, yung may shade doon, lagay nyo doon si Donya Carmen ninyo. Promise, magiging healthy talaga yung Donya Carmen ninyo. So, yun. Tapos, um, though yung sinasabi ng iba, you have to water Donya Carmen regularly. I don't. So, yun. What, uh, but, what I can see and what I can observe with Donya Carmen or Aglonima Donya Carmen is that mas mabilis siyang mag-dry. Mas mabilis mag-dry yung soil niya. So, parang mas mabilis siyang mangailangan ng tubig. Pero, ang ginagawa ko na lang pa rin sa kanya is sini-spray ko lang siya everyday. Hindi ko pa rin siya, um, I mean, ano pa rin siya, uh, once, once a week pa rin yung pagtutubig ko sa kanya. Pero minsan kasi, uh, since nakalagay nga siya dun sa may part ng mga uh, kung nasan yung selong, ganyan, kung nasan yung dumping, mga uh, different bakya namin. Um, yun, ang minsan, nadidiligan din siya ng ano ko, minsan nadidiligan din siya ng tito ko. Pero ngayon, since maulan at hindi naman ganun kainit yung yung weather, hindi pa rin. Uh, once a week ko pa rin siya um, dinidiligan to really. But, I make sure na kapag nagdidilig ako ng aglonima, kahit anong type ng aglonima ko yan, is uh, minimake sure ko na kapag diniligan ko, aapaw sa ilalim. So, make sure na yung pots ninyo din, eto, in any all, uh, in any types of plant, make sure that your pot merong butas sa ilalim. Okay lang siguro sa gilid, pero pinaka the best yun sa ilalim. Kasi di ba may mga pot na nasa gilid, like this. Like this one. Pero, um, binutasan ko to sa ilalim. Hindi ko maipakita kasi baka tumapon. So, yun. Make sure na ganun. Tsaka, make sure that every time you water your plant, yun. Aagos siya. Tapos, pag umagos na siya, paagosin nyo maigi bago nyo ibalik kung saan nyo nilagay. Don't let it sit under water. Okay? If you can see na nagda-dry na yung soil, well, you have to keep the, the soil moist. Kahit anong type yan ng, um, ng plant. So, you can use spray bottle. Put some water. You don't have to put anything if you don't have naman anything to put. Like, if you don't have the young living, if you don't have any essential oils, you don't have anything to put or any fertilizer, that's fine. Just put water, then spray. Spray lang sa inyong mga plants. So, they can just freshen up. Like, parang yung pag may na parang nag-mist ka ng mukha mo to freshen up. Siguro, um... Yes, maybe you can put as well fertilizers, but I do not put fertilizers sa mga aglonima ko. Don't underwater and overwater aglonima. Same thing with kalatea. Actually, it's, it goes for every plants. Don't overwater and underwater your plants because overwatering will cause root rot and underwatering would dry the roots and yun, magkakaroon din ng disease. Makikita nyo rin naman yung effect nyo sa leaves nila. Yun lang. So far, those are my aglonimas here at home. I hope to add more, but let's see. We'll see. Um, yun. So, I hope meron kayo natutunan in this video, and I hope you enjoyed this video or this short video, and I hope to see you on my next vlog. Thank you so much for watching, guys.